All right, new episode has begun. So let's see if I jinx myself with Wolf on week 69. God, I hope not. Oh, right. I couldn't. Never mind. <laughs> that was fresh air in the tunnels. For a second when it was slow to load, I was like, yep, here he comes. Uh, but he can't uh, spawn on the same week that you get a town event like that. So we're good. Rat carcass. Rat carcass. All right. So now, uh, now comes an actual scary fight. Uh, which way am I going to do this? Which way am I going to do this? Am I going to try to dodge tank this or am I going to try to remove the marks is the question. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Clearing out disgusting pigs and reward as a half rotten rat, yeah. Swine guy can be a very uh scary fight. So cheese him? Well, I don't think either of those ways is cheese. With the, mark. the problem with the removing the mark is that the uh arbalist and the um musketeer can't remove the mark from themselves. And so they can only remove it from the front three. So if they get the mark, they're gonna hit death's door. So I might go dodge, and I might regret it. Seven damage. Everyone dodge the mark. Rest in peace, musketeer. Uh, don't we have one that's a beast slayer too, though? Yeah, we do. Risk taker, beast slayer. Ugh. Let's see what we got here. Do we have an invasive? Uh, we have luminous. Luminous quick reflexes. Look at this. Kirking. Kirking. Luminous natural swing. Luminous natural swing. All right, let, let's take a look. I might end up trading this team out. But I'm going to take a look at what kind of dodge numbers we can get to. Yeah, yeah. I know. Louie. Chill. We're not sending you there. Uh, do we have an evasive? We do. Evasive Hippocratic. Okay. Maximum level reach. Snowline, tier three, 27 months. Those are huge numbers. They really are for a stream. <laughs> Back to the pit. Good morning. Let's go on, Snowblind. Thank you, thank you. Uh, much love, Snowblind, who's in here forever. One of the few tier three subscribers, also. Appreciate it, Snowblind. Hard skin. Look at that 29 health. Oh, that's so scary. That's so scary. Oh, Lord Almighty. Lord Almighty. Evasive. Evasive Beast Slayer. Luminous Clotter. God, I hope I don't regret this. Uh, I was much less worried about the Swine King on the boys' run, actually, or Swine God on the boys' run. But, oddly enough. All right, so I'm going with. Do I actually want to take Bleed Out for Swine God? Um, hmm.
I don't know. I'm gonna have it researched uh, or unlocked just in case. Just in case. Oh man, antiquarian going to the swine god. <laughs> what does life come to? First used to bleed out in <laughs> 2000 hours. So. I used to use it back in the day when uh, you could herb off her debuff, you know? How much blood do we have? How much blood do we have? Yeah, yeah, I'm not going yet, just chill. 30, all right, we're good. We're good. Uh, let's go ahead and infect our newbies here. Let's infect some newbies. All right, Wookie. You don't need stress relief, but that's all right, because you're just trying to infect Dylan. Oh, I should have checked. You're craving? Craving's fine, it's just wasting. That's the problem. <sighs> Man. All right, let's do it. Let's just do it. So Antiquarian is gonna take the Smoking Skull, so we do need to take Shard Dust with us. Gotta make sure we do that. Uh, she has to dodge. She absolutely has to dodge. Um, I mean, we take Overture. It's only eight more dodge, but it does put her up to 34 health. Uh, Swine God still gets her to death door in a single hit, though. So does it matter? Probably not. Probably not. Okay, so she's going to have 65 dodge from that. Let's just leave that as is for now. Uh, Sharpen Letter Opener is plus five dodge. She's also going to have Bless, so... Um, hmm. Yeah, we're just going to go full out dodge. I'm going to be a little bit worried about our um, our accuracy is the only thing, but our community grows. Uh, let's see. Evasive natural swing. Uh, Nevex. I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right, but I appreciate the follow. Yeah. She's at 50 dodge right now. Well, no, that's misleading. Grows. She's at 35 dodge. Um, so with the Antiquarian, she's going to be at 65. Uh, this will put her at 80. So she's at 80 dodge right now. Okay. And Zach, thank you for the follow as well. Request your birthday in early June. Soon enough, not to go anywhere, but still, that's awesome, man. Well, let's think about this. So she's at 35 with the Antiquarian. She'll be at 65. So we'll put this on as well. Puts her at 80. Uh, okay. This puts her at 95. 95, that puts her at... 108. 108. Money run? No. So 108. So our Grave Robber should dodge pretty much 85% of the Swine God attack. So that on. Okay. Now she is... Let's see. 35. So 65. 95 with her own buffs. So Overture might be the way to go on her. Can't just see him, hopefully. Hopefully. 9,500, 110 dodge on the Antiquarian. Vestal, what can we get your dodge to? Let's see, she's at 25, 30, 40, 70 dodge. We can get her to 80 dodge and a little bit of protection. Maybe I put the Ancestor's Coats. That'd be 85 dodge and a little bit of protection. But she also... Yeah, I think we should do that. Okay. Because she's going to have the camp buff as well. I dismissed Rain on Dismiss. Rain on Dismiss did not exist on this run. Because they're boys. They have cooties. So no, we never had Rain on Dismiss. 
we started out with, uh, what was on the starting team? Hellion and Old Road was Hellion and Grave Rubber. All right. Uh, here's the choice. So she's at 50, 65, 95 dodge. 95 dodge. No, I keep adding... She's at 80 dodge. I keep adding um, in Daredevil when I shouldn't. She's at 80 dodge. So we can take damage and leave her at 80. Or we can give her 10 more dodge and put her at 90. Uh, I think we'll probably go damage. Oh, boy. That's tricky. Our accuracy is going to be so terrible. Yeah, it's modded to be girls only yet. All right. Let's do it. More dodge. <laughs> All right, we got upgrades. We got dodge trinkets, skills, camping, upgrades, dodge trinkets, skills. We probably want to take protect me here over uh, festering vapor. Or we get down for the boss at least. Yeah, on the way, we'll use get down for the boss. We'll choose protect me. Upgrades, trinkets. Skills, uh, camping, bless is the most important. Upgrades, trinkets, skills, and camping. All right, let's go. We gotta make sure we take shard dust. Let me get it right off the bat, just in case. Okay, all the food, stack shovels. Uh, we need to take blood, just in case. And we need to get, I'd probably gotta take Aegis here. So I got to slay the Antiquarian. Yeah. That can't happen. Knock on some wood. Okay, we got food, shovels, torches. Man, if we could get the rest of the friggin' nightmares, we'd have more uh, Aegis, to, Aegis to take with us. Food, shovels, torches, blood. We got Aegis. We got the shard dust for the skull. Our scouting really sucks. That's going to come back to bite us, probably. Let's do it. Uh, this is one of the champion bosses I was worried with. Uh, worried for the girls run with. But anyway. Gotta do it sometime. The great thing I had managed to bring through was brutal. That's going to be fortune. And the ancestor's stupid. underwear, silly. Moreover... It required prodigious amounts of meat to sustain itself. But this was only a trifling concern. Thanks, no one. After all, I had a village full of it. <sighs> all right, village full of meat. That's right. A nameless abomination. A testament to my failures. It must be destroyed. Well, here we go. Not worried about loot at all. We're just trying to get the boss, kill it. Scouting is pretty low. All right, nothing that can give disease. Eradicated. Nice. Nice. Dodge time, hopefully. So on Jan, welcome in. Ugh. Our accuracy is gonna be so crap during this run. A blazing star is born. Dungeon last night was literally a single straight line with one room on the other side of the entrance. It's like eleven tiles away though. <laughs> job QZ. Uh, can we roll a six here? Yep. Yeah, hopefully, seven. Good. Is the weapon that cuts on its own. Is it better grave robber? Yes. 
your grave robber is uh, the worst that we have, actually. I have the, I have the max level ones. Yours is the worst. In the fever pit of battle. I think our lowest dodge is like 83. <laughs> Man, we got, we got some real good dodge stacks here. The thing is, uh, Wilbur and Swine God have 122 accuracy. 122 accuracy. So, we're only going to have like a... Well, it depends on the character, but on average throughout our team, we're going to have about 75% chance to dodge their attacks. Sorry, hit. Yeah, yeah, we're definitely going to get hit some. Uh, the goal with this much dodge is to get hit so few times, so far and few in between, that we're able to recover before the next hit actually lands. Someday you end up getting screwed. Uh, flailing, yeah. Flailing doesn't. I think flailing has a lower accuracy. But there are other moves. Yeah, so champion bosses in general, their primary moves have 122 accuracy. So, that's uh, just kind of a, a baseline. The bigger the beast. Obviously, there are some moves that have even higher. There's some that have lower. Like you said, like the flailing um, strike. I don't think the flailing strike... Uh, is 122. I think it's a little bit lower. Not here for loot. We did not get a scout. No scouts. Not bringing that, uh... Ancestor's map is already hurting. The light. The promise of safety. Ooh, outrolled us. Putting RNG. We're putting the RNG on the on the boss's side. So that's, that's what I like about dodge. You can get dodge up to 95%. Uh, once you get dodge to 95%, it is so hard for the enemy to kill you, right? Because not only do they have to get through 95% dodge, they then have to crit. And, and that probably, depending on the enemy, still isn't gonna get someone to death's door. So they have to get through 95% dodge twice and have that roll crits before you can heal and get through 95% dodge again and roll against death low resist all before you get a single heal on that person. It's very, it's very hard to die if you can get 95% dodge. You can't get 95% dodge against everything uh, without taking man at arms and stacking bolsters or taking double antiquarian, but you can get pretty close. So it's basically uh, putting the RNG on the enemy's side, right? It's like making them have to roll godlike to kill you. Train your inventory so you can swap it out of the dungeon. <laughs> that would be nice. Uh... It's like rolling a d20 and having to get three 20s in a row. Yeah, before the other person gets higher than a one, right? <laughs> because they, they can heal as well. So the enemy has to roll three d20s in a row before you roll a single anything on your healer. So it's, it's very hard to die at 95% dodge. I mean, told dodge is a bad move too, a bad stat. So could you imagine if dodge is actually good as well? Imagine that. All right, we're going to camp for boss buffs, and then uh, it's scary time. Scary boss time. Okay, we are probably going to use Sharpened Spear and Battle Trance. We are definitely using Bless, and we're going to prevent Nighttime Ambush. Preventing Nighttime Ambush is pretty important here because we don't want to get a disease right before the boss. So our priority is prevent Nighttime Ambush, Bless, and then um, Battle Trance. So in truth. Uh, who are we going to put Bless on? Let's see. Our base dodge. Uh, we camo cloak. Let's see. Oh, we actually are at 50. 50 with the trinket. That's right. And then if we're at low health, we're even higher. So she's basically at 80 dodge. Okay. Uh, she can't put it on herself. So we need to put Bless on our Hellion. Because we're going to have Toxin Trickery here. All right. Gathered close in tenuous firelight. And so let's go ahead and prevent Night Team Ambush. 
Uh, we'll use Bless for the dodge. Um... So we can take both of these. We don't need anything else, right? No. Battle Trance, Sharpen Spear. In Radiance, may we find victory. Plus we also have um, the Fresh Air in the Tunnels buff. So we should have quite a bit of damage going in. It's just, does our dodge roll in our favor? It should. The odds are stacked in our favor, but, you know, RNG can always screw you over. Uh, we'll see. We're not going to use Breakthrough. We'll take Adrenaline Rush just in case we get off, need to get off Death's Door. I actually still don't think I'm going to take a Bleed Out. We're, I mean, we're not going to use Iron Swan in here, so I might as well take Bleed Out in place of Iron Swan just in case we get in a situation where it's do or die with that. So my gods admit you could skip the flesh. I agree. <laughs> Tend to agree. We're not use Dazzling Light. We're going to take Mace Bash because there is this weird scenario where everyone might die and it's just the Vestal versus Wilbur. And if we don't have a move to attack Wilbur, <laughs> we, we're screwed. I actually had a wipe on Wilbur a long time ago, like three years ago, uh, where something like that happened. Like our Houndmaster was the only thing left and he had no attack in the front. Uh, we're not going to use Get Down. We might use uh, Protect Me, although it does mark the target. This is good. All right, let's go. <sighs> the flesh is weak against Houndmaster. The thing about the flesh is it's one of the most RNG bosses. And so if it rolls double head, double butt, it can just kill anyone, anyone in the game without any with no counterplay there's nothing you can do about it so far so good Get our dodge rolling here spine double stun your vestal as well yeah yeah it's it's pretty rough Yes, keep targeting the Antiquarian. <laughs> she has so much dodge. She's at 108, 118 next rounds. Okay, let's get our dodge even higher while we can. Inspiration and improvement. Also have the uh, scales if we need them. Hopefully don't end up needing them, but... Should probably get a bleed going on them, actually. <laughs> as far so good. Oh man, could you could you imagine if dodge was a good stat? I know I keep saying that, but God, it's so crazy how many times we get people coming to the chat being like, but dodge is bad because it's RNG where health isn't RNG. All right, let's see what your massive health pool does against heart attacks, you know? Worthless stat, dodge. <laughs> Sally, man, it's so hard because if they manage to get through, they have to get through multiple times, multiple times in order to kill someone. You bet Wilbur, when he's alone, is still going to land a quad stun. <laughs> All right. Look, there's the first one they got through. So. You got a double attack through on uh, our highest target, so. That was like a 5% chance there, but. Ooh, we got another one through. Wilbur. Wilbur with the high rolls. At least no end uh, in this one's ever rolled. So, so far, there's been three hits. Woo! Look at that. <laughs> I can confirm dodge sucks. You're wrong. Yeah. 
Uh, these we can't take back home, right? So might as well use it just in the off chance they both hit again. They both get a high roll. It's unlikely, but a loot to have him battle ballad swan god. Oh god. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so this is where it could actually end up hurting us, but look, it's too late, right? It's too late. What's he at? Uh. Can you take the ones back that you bring in? I couldn't remember. I know you can take the ones home you get from the snakes, but I didn't know if it's, uh, uh, I guess it does, it does work the same, doesn't it? Maybe I'm thinking of shard. I think I was thinking of shard dust. My bad. Shard dust is something that once you buy, just like a provision, you can't take back. Unlike blood and scales, yeah. The thing is even more horrible in death. Liquefaction cannot come soon enough. Liquefaction, yeah. Such fortuitous skill. <laughs> Thanks, Jan. Come on, Wilbur. <laughs> All right. Ooh, he did hit one. And an apprentice death adder in a hall of battle. Yeah. Yeah. Once you finish the last nightmare, you can get the snakes as hall of battles. Yeah. Twenty-two speed. Wilbur's so fast, man. He has little legs. Could you imagine him running at twenty-two speed? Imagine this thing running at you at 22 speed, like down a hallway. He landed. He landed a quad stun. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous. Uh oh. This <laughs> place. <laughs> like I said, he has 122 accuracy. So now you, now even more. A brilliant confluence of skill. Oh, he didn't land that one. <laughs> Senpai does not you. Enjoy your complimentary waifu and all the gasms that follow. Uh, Kamikaze, I do notice you. Enjoy your waifus, Kamikaze. Triumphant pride right, there was swine god. a dizzying fall. Uh, do we want to go ahead and go through here and maybe grab some heirlooms before we head out? We probably should. The way is probably lit. should. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. Mm -hmm. Gaz, welcome in. Hearing the incredibly fast tapping of tiny feet coming at them through the tunnels. That sounds horrifying, doesn't it? That's probably scarier than the giant swine god, like, slugging its way towards you. Slugging. Um, so back for my birthday, not all of them. So it depends. There are some voice lines that were paid for specifically for me. And then there's some that are public called, uh, ancestral bestowment. So you can go on the Red Hook website or just Google ancestral bestowments. And there is a streamer pack of Wayne June for that. But I do have, uh, like 11 custom lines that, uh, members of the community got together for my birthday in 2019 and surprised me with a bunch of Wayne June lines. Uh, he can't hey everybody, my name is Cletus. like this one. Anybody want some corn break? He came and hung out at the stream. He retweets me sometimes on Twitter. He's like a pretty cool guy in general. Uh, but yes, that is actually Wayne June, the ancestor. It's easy. Just always crit and always dodge. Simple. I forgot to change um, back to Iron Swan. I wouldn't have used it here anyway. So I have our uh, camp buffs, so we're in pretty good shape. Confidence surges as the enemy. Swineceiver does have a move that reduces our dodge, so this still can be scary until we get our um, antiquarian dodges up. Best narrator, yeah, I agree. Good, good. The Cletus lying it's every time. <laughs> yeah, if anyone doesn't know who the crap Cletus is, exclamation cowboy will tell you what's up there. Yeah, just always crit, always dodge. Easy game. All right. Uh, so we did get the minus eight dodge. We have holy water. Oh, you know. skill. As the fiend 
Uh, thanks, Yagi. A faint hope blossoms. The famous one Red Dead stream. That's right. I have to get back to that one someday. Man. He's landing more attacks than Swine Boss. That's me. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. Yeah, get rid of this. Uh, I could have just drank. I'm not sure why I also used that, but whatever. Shouldn't end up mattering. It's a Christmas miracle. Yeah, Cripple them seems to hit so much. I wonder... I didn't, I didn't think it was higher than the 122. I wonder if it is, though. It definitely seems to, like, hit so much. Even against insane amounts of dodge. But... Yeah, it'd be interesting to know. I actually don't know the, uh... The accuracy on it. What a roller coaster. This is a harder fight than the friggin' swine god. Crazy. <laughs> the Cletus clip. <laughs> Keep rolling bottom in. A time to perform beyond one minute. Flame of mods? Uh, nothing other than. With these challenges, we don't really play with mods because it would kind of modded classes or anything like that because it would kind of go against the actual challenge. The only thing we're using is faster animations and then a mod to make it so that we can only have female characters. So that's it. Whoa, these 12% crits off of Ken. Oh, Ken, MVP. Doesn't even have healing trinkets. Thanks, Ken. Man, that was scarier than the Swine God. Crazy. Crazy. Seven torches remaining. Yeah. Welcome in cargo. Crazy. And now the darkness holds dominion. Wiki says 97.5. That seems way off. Man, Cripple Them seems to hit. I mean, it's circumstantial, I guess, but I've done dozens of full runs stacking dodge, and Cripple Them is one of those moves that seems to all, like, always get through the dodge stack. At least a few times. So that's, uh, that's pretty shocking to me. I don't know about those numbers, yeah. I uh, probably won't be in here too much longer. I'm just going to try to grab some extra heirlooms and stuff before we head out. Even though it can be a little bit scary, like we just saw. Um, yeah, that's great. We have so much golds. Citros 107.5, Goring Flight 92.5. Man, according to that, he has pretty low accuracy compared to like Swine God, but. Off of. Well, that's just the game uh, dodge that they have. So every move in the game has a dodge number, or uh, an accuracy number rather. And then that, oh, I forgot to change the moves again. And that rolls against uh, your accuracy, or uh, your dodge, or vice versa if it's your character versus them, right? So I guess that's just the raw accuracy number on those moves, and then it rolls against your, your dodge number. Um, yeah, that seems... Unless the Swine Skeever is just, like, super friggin' lucky, that seems crazy. We're not gonna snuff here because we don't have a lot of torches left. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. Okay. There we go. So hitting the grave robber twice was serious luck. Yeah. Crazy. That was him rolling a 5% twice then. Because we even had, uh, yeah. Absolutely rolling twice. Um, we don't need it. 
mainly going to try to get some heirlooms before we head out. Gold, very far secondary. Oh yeah, he hit her with a spit to rose too, so he hit her three times. Of course, the um, the cripple him gave her some minus dodge, but either way. Obliterated. Either way. Hey shit, uh, it's minus eight, right? Minus eight dodge on the debuff, and then he hit her twice. Gains purchase. Spirits are lifted. Trot retreat. Yeah, there we clear. go. Boar rush and pig spear are pretty scary moves too. Honestly. Let's just get her dodge up. Screw it. So she's at 95% chance to dodge uh, any of these attacks now. Our lowest dodges in the 80s. It's crazy. Hey. Get your hooker off me. A singular strike. 118, man. Masterfully executed. That's the thing, like I said. They have to get super lucky to get through the dodge it's gonna happen after so many rolls you know it's just gonna happen because you can only only get to 95 percent but that's still really good only getting hit five percent of the time regardless if you have some bad rolls that's uh that's some amazing defensive stat this stun resist is so high i think we have like we have a 25 percent chance to stun if it doesn't crit, if it crits, we have 45%. Probably not worth using. Uh, two torches remaining, so I'm not going to snuff here. The cursed champion falls. You can hang out longer. Still blind. Uh, thank you for hanging out while you could. Thank you for the resub. Have a good rest of your day. Hmm. I better hold on to these just in case. So, you know what? Again, we don't really need a secret room if it happens, so screw it. Goodbye, keys. Let's see what this is. <laughs> Quite easy perks. Agreeing with the rakes. Wow, our vessel rolled higher speed. Interesting. Our grave robber rolled uh, bottom end on her D8, man. Well, you know, happens sometimes. I should've just killed, oh well. Making all three give disease, probably should've just killed. Pretty low stun chance. It wasn't like she's gonna kill it anyway, so. Nice. Beans. This expedition at least promises success. Hmm. I'm pretty sure there was some uh, skull. Curios. So. Uh, still want to hold on to... Well, do we really need the bandages? Probably not. Probably not. So, moon, welcome in. Playing Arsene the other day and got your party wiped by Baron. Also made you uninstall and you have actually stumbled upon your video on YouTube. Sorry to get back to the game. Thank you very much for the videos. That's awesome. Thank you. Sorry, you started Deathless Run on Darkest. Good luck, Mood. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, which video series did you stumble upon? The world first one or the newer one? The the boys run. 
out of curiosity or something different have a bunch of uh series of things courageous leper this is business even though they sometimes leave it there <laughs> leper it's interesting i used a leper in uh, the second darkest dungeon which i'd never do on the boys run and uh have a comment on youtube i saw before i went on today that was like so is the leper actually good for darkest dungeon 2 or is it just that yours was incredibly awesome <laughs> it was the torches deathless all boss one gotcha that's awesome yeah if you want to see one that uh if you're not doing torchless if you're doing deathless but not torchless i have another deathless run on there that's with torches and with class restriction it's the boys club run it's um if you want to check it out on there, there's a whole playlist for it. And it's all boss, all DLC, and we can only use male characters. Uh, it is also deathless. This one is not. <laughs> this is not deathless. Unfortunately. But yeah, good luck. Let me know if you have any questions or anything like that. And uh, thank you for watching. The slow death unforeseen. So I had 12 food. We haven't been hitting it in like any hunger procs. Like no hunger bugs. Another Zawas. Yeah, yeah, we have lots of runs on there. More to come. Nonetheless, you're a trifling victory. Wayne. Well, let's keep pushing our luck a little bit. A dinner table. No more skeevers, so. We were right to continue. I was a little worried that we'd run into more skeevers. So far, though, that was an unfounded worry. Man, she. Our Grave Robber rolled bottom speed again on her D8 roll. Man. Pick it up, QZ. She has 10 base speed, and she's getting outsped by our uh, Vestal occasion. Well, more than occasionally, like the last three battles or something. I guess that's still occasionally, but... Shh. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Try to finish two off, finish none off. They went. All right, you want to put her in Iron Swan range? That works for me, Mr. Swine Tar. Yeah, it's so crazy that Swine Skeever hits so often and but has lower accuracy than like all these mobs that we're fighting right now it's weird a decisive bubbling. it's just a rng though i guess so he was bound to roll lucky eventually um, i was definitely expecting you to say that his accuracy was higher though after you looked it up but i guess not I feel like it just has to be wrong. Yeah, it seems crazy to me. But never hidden. Like, if you ask me which normal mobs I think have some of the highest accuracy, Swineskeever's up there. Madman is up there. I would say Madman has to be on boss level of accuracy with his uh, accusation. It has to be way up there. Um, What's another mob that seems to have really high accuracy? Those are the first two that come to mind. So I'm really surprised that Skeever numbers are so low. But that's only on the wiki. Maybe the wiki's wrong. I don't know. Uh, he's dead. Might as well squeeze in a heal.
Good enough for loot, but we might be going down the next hallway. Yeah, I guess I'm not going to go down the hallway. We didn't scout. I might peek in there for a curio. So I probably should have just snuffed, but I didn't know that we weren't going to get scout. Uh, but that's all right. Is there a negative quirk we want to remove? So if we see a scroll in either of those two places, we can get rid of a negative quirk with a torch. Uh, we don't need the food either way. Uh, the holy water can be used on curio as well, though. Really hard to dodge accusation. Yeah, I'm betting it's on boss level. I, I would bet 122 for it if I had to bet a number. 122.5, Champion Madman. Right on the dot on both moves. Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Okay. Nice. Two extra curios. He has 102 actually even on Apprentice, man. Uh, we can't take Shard Dust back with us, so might as well get that goals. All right. Well, <sighs> the scariest thing in that dungeon was not the Swine God. And hey, we got one of my favorite trinkets, Wilbur's Flag. Do you love Wilbur's flag? It pairs really well, I think, with like the camo cloak. Uh, camo cloak is plus 15 dodge, but also lowers your stun resist. So Wilbur's flag compensates for that, plus some. Good dodge trinket. Thick blooded, awesome pickup. Do you like clotter and thick blooded? Uh, Spaz of the entrails doesn't really matter too much. Slow reflexes doesn't really matter too much either. Uh, Vestals in champion aren't going to go before a lot of the enemies and having them go kind of late in the turn order uh is fine they can just heal people up the only downside is if they get stunned some stunning enemy goes first natural eye doesn't matter at all <laughs> our antiquarians are just spamming dodge anyway and gothic uh doesn't matter because we can't use the occultist so anyway nothing too bad nothing too good either though let's go ahead and split the recording